What's up, guys? I'm coming to you in February of 2021, and I just read a statistic that there are over 500 hours of content being uploaded to YouTube every single minute. Now, that is an insane statistic, and it makes you wonder, all of those people who are putting out content, they must be just so bold and brave and, you know, so uh, not camera shy, right? I know for myself, when I first started filming these YouTube videos, filming was the hardest thing for me in the world. So today, I'm gonna share with you my top four tips for being more confident and comfortable filming on YouTube. <laughs> What's up everyone, my name is Jonathan. I'm the host here at The Jono Show. Now, this is not only a YouTube channel, all about all sorts of different topics, mindset, tech reviews, business, coaching, all that different stuff, but we also have an incredible podcast and I want you guys to check it out. We just had an episode with a, with a sex therapist that was so incredible. I mean, she's not just a sex therapist and doesn't only help thousands and thousands of couples uh, with their sex lives, but she also is a business coach. And for me, that podcast interview is really, really engaging. We've also talked with people who have worked with the Pope and Elon Musk and business owners, gym owners, um, fitness icons, all sorts of different people. And so I really would love for you to check that out. And if you like the content you see on the channel, feel free to subscribe. All right, for today's topic, we're talking about the four ways that you can be more comfortable on camera. And this is something I have to say that I really struggled with early on. Um, and, and even now I have to say, I struggle with this in little pieces. You know, getting on camera and filming and setting up all the gear and putting the lighting together and making sure your hair is not crazy, right? All of these things that we think about um, that go into play when we're thinking about filming a YouTube video, we go ahead and sit down and sometimes there's just like this freeze, right? It's almost like writer's block, you know, if you're familiar with writing and you know, you just don't have anything in your mind anymore. Well, I know that's happened to me so many times when sitting down to film YouTube videos. And so I've developed a little bit of a system that's helped me get into the flow a little bit more of filming YouTube videos. And I have to say, as you start filming more videos, you start getting more comfortable. But it's those first couple videos, it's that first step that you take that I found to be the hardest. And so I wanna share these with you today, and I would love to hear if you have some feedback for me about these, if they've worked for you, or maybe you have some of your own tips that you've used to feel more comfortable on camera. Now, of course, we're not just talking about YouTube. We're talking about Instagram. We're talking about, you know, maybe making your voice heard on the new app Clubhouse, right? Just speaking up and being comfortable enough to share your perspective and share your viewpoint is something, a skill that I think a lot of people don't have. And I think there's a lot of amazing, incredible, very knowledgeable people out there who just aren't comfortable enough with putting their face out there, their voice out there. So these four tips, if any of those things are you, these four tips are for you. All right, tip number one for me is mindset. Mindset, mindset, mindset. And what do I mean by mindset? You have to have that conversation with yourself just to say, look, I wanna film this YouTube video. This is why it's important. This is why I'm passionate about it. And I wanna do this. And you've gotta commit. You've gotta put yourself in that frame of mind before you start filming. Now, if you go into it and you're already doubting yourself and you're already kind of putting those negative messages in your brain of like, oh, I can't do this. I've never done this before. Who's gonna to wanna to hear this? If you have those negative mental thoughts running through your head and you try to sit down and film, you are going to come off unengaging. You're going to come off like you don't care about what you sound like or what you're talking about. And you're not going to like the footage, most likely, because you're telling yourself already, you're already putting that mental programming in your head that you're not going to like what you're going to say because you don't sound good. You don't like how you look. Oh, this is weird, right? You're already setting yourself up for failure. So mindset is the most important element to start this whole thing off. You've got to come into it confident and got to realize that you are going to kill this. Tip number two is that you need to realize that your voice counts. Remember what I said at the beginning of the intro, you know, 500 hours per minute, right? Every single minute that goes by 500 hours on YouTube, that is an astounding statistic. And you might say, you know, why does my voice matter? There's so much content being put out. You know, clearly there are more qualified people that are talking about my subject matter. You know, you might be giving yourself all these mental uh, negative statements, right? Now that really ties into mindset that we were just talking about, but you have to realize that your voice really does count. You know, you have to realize that there are some people that are only going to be able to hear the message that you are going to deliver from you. 
right? I uh, like to give the example of Gary Vee, right? You know, Gary Vaynerchuk, he's a very influential entrepreneur, businessman. He's done so many things and he's very loud and very aggressive and he swears a lot. And he's definitely for some people, right? People resonate with him. People like his message and people are, are able to hear it. But I also know many people that say, I hate that guy. I don't like his message. I don't like what he has to say. And it's because that they don't like his style. Each one of us has a unique style, a unique presentation about us. And you've got to realize that there are people out there that are not going to be able to hear a message unless it's delivered by you. Your voice really does matter. You know, another example I like to use is, you know, that whole thing of like if your mom or your husband or wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, you know, someone close to you gives you an observation about your life or tells you something, sometimes it's easy to skip over that, right? But when someone else tells you, maybe a stranger tells you, that all of a sudden is weighted a little bit more heavily in your mind. Well, that all goes to show, you know, sometimes you need to hear things from different people in order to make it actually matter and for you to actually absorb it. The same thing for every single other person who's clicking on those YouTube videos. They're gonna click on your video, they're gonna hear the way you present, and something about the way you say it is going to click for them. And they're gonna get that message and hear that message from you in a way they haven't heard it from anyone else. So your voice really does matter, and you've gotta make sure that you go into it with that mindset, because if you don't, you're already starting a couple steps back and you're not really gonna put yourself out there with the conviction and the confidence that you need to have. Now let's talk about confidence a little bit. That leads me to point number three. Confidence, I think, is built by micro successes. You know, we're all in this journey of life. We all are taking steps along our path. And it's important to realize that someone who's successful is someone who is consistently doing things that are slowly leading to greater and greater success, even if those are failures, right? If you might fail in a tiny step, right, and fail again in a tiny step, you're still making progress forward. And so for me, confidence is built by having tiny successes. So for me, I like to find a way to have a tiny success by creating a plan, right? even creating some sort of simple structure that I know I can stick with. So when you sit down to do your videos, create a very, very basic framework for the video that you're going to be producing, right? If you're talking about beauty, if you're talking about fitness, whatever you're talking about, give yourself a framework to use and you work within that framework because it will allow you to move from point to point and have those micro successes. Now we're gonna talk more about that in just a moment, but I wanted to kind of dive a little bit deeper into the outline component. There are all sorts of tools out there that you can use. There are teleprompters that are very easy to use. Uh, actually, fun fact, I'm using a teleprompter right now. I'm actually not using the teleprompter, but there is a teleprompter set up on my camera. I'm gonna put a link to that teleprompter in the description below. You guys can check it out if you like. Um, like I said, I'm not using it for this one because this is just something I'm speaking from my own personal experience, but there are teleprompters out there available. You can have a little note sheet right in front of you. I like using sticky notes, like sticky notes down on your desk. People won't necessarily be able to see them, but you'll be able to kind of go look at them every once in a while and refer to them and keep yourself on track. And that will give you that confidence because you're working within that framework. All right, everything has to do with confidence and those baby wins. Now let's talk about the baby wins. There's a picture going around on Instagram right now that has a picture of two different people and they're climbing two different ladders. And the caption is small steps matter. And one ladder has a bunch of tiny little rungs and then the other one has these big massive rungs. And the person standing next to the one with the big massive rungs is stretching so hard to try to reach for that rung and they're not able to even hit that first one, right? While the person next to them with the smaller little steps are climbing up quickly. So give yourself those small wins. Give yourself those micro wins that are gonna give you that confidence. And you're gonna do that by filming in smaller increments. I used to sit down in the beginning of filming and try to film a 30 minute video without stopping. And that was insane. I can't tell you how many times I pushed the record button, started my sentence, said, ugh, I hate this, and then walked around to the camera, clicked it, turned it off, and repeated the process 30, 40, 50 times. It took me so long to record one video. And that's so discouraging because to have any measure of success on YouTube, you need to be putting out content. And so getting rid of some of that and allowing yourself to have those intermediary steps will really be a huge help. Now, that's it for today's four tips. You know, I really hope these helped. For me, I know it was such a struggle to start creating this content and we're far from over. You know, we're on this journey. We, of course, first wanna get monetized. We wanna get to that thousand subscriber uh, limit, you know, 4,000 watch hours. We would love for you to be a part of our community and our journey in doing this because our passion is 
not just creating this content, not just putting content out there, but creating content on a channel that's really meaningful and helps encourage you to live up to your fullest potential. That's everything we do here on the channel. That's what the full team here behind me is all about, our audio engineer, the video folks who work editing these videos. And we want you to live up to your fullest potential and be able to do what you love and really enjoy it. And so, you know, I hope these tips have been meaningful and valuable. Leave me a comment if you found any of them valuable or if you have maybe your own additions that really uh, have helped you and maybe would help others as well. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will look forward to seeing you in the next video. Whoa! <gasps>